gonna be honest, I have nothing to talk about. I don't know if it's like stress or something. But nothing really comes up to my head. I'm just blanking, you know? Just blank. Nothing really pops up. I don't know if it's stress. Maybe, but I don't even know what I'm stressed about. Y'all get that, like, y'all just, y'all just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. I don't know if, I feel very unmotivated right now. I don't know if it's like, because I drained all my energy already, or, or something. Like, I don't remember much from last week. Or this week, to talk about. I just had a lot of school stuff and work. Pretty burnt out. I have the worst sleep. Can't sleep. You know? I know that's a big thing now. Nobody sleeps. And I uh, keep seeing videos. My brother, my brother keeps sending me videos of like, Nobody can afford a house. No one can do nothing. All this shenanigans, you know. Like, it gets hard. They gotta move back in with their parents or something. And that was funny because I, I remember I was talking today with my coworker, and we were talking about how I said the boomers messed up the millennials, and they're the millennials' kids. Or what's gonna destroy the boomers and I feel like our generation Gen Z destroys the boomers but we become the boomers because we don't like how all these kids are like iPad kids I just found that iPad kids don't even watch videos they just they just skim through it they're like brr, like swipe brr, like they skip it and just do that and they cry for their iPad just to fidget so I feel like, and then he said, he said, that's a good, that's good though, because we could use that, we need that. And I was like, it's good for like Amazon, you know? So we just use them just to like have their fidget and just get shit done. But like, what it is is that we're the boomers, we took over what's happening in the world and make it a way where we could get money from them. And then those kids are gonna be millennials and then their kids are gonna destroy us. It's just gonna be a whole lot cycle how everything is done but yeah I think I'm just like goofed or something I don't know not enough sleep I don't know no way to get sleep I didn't even watch my movie yet I watched a new anime called Z Zone 100 that was good they got new episodes though and dub they got dub we'll take a dub now this is so trash cyberpunk dub so trash don't like it I didn't finish the first episode. But, but yeah, I got some ideas, got some things to do. I think I'm more, I feel like my list is very full on the things I want to do and have to do, or I have to do. I think I'm making them feel like I have to do them. So they make them where I feel so overwhelmed in a way, but so like drained, you know, that I don't get nothing done. I just there's so much I want to do and I'm doing them slowly I mean I'm doing almost every day well I am I'm not getting it done it's just that when I get something done two more gets added you know what I want and I've just been busting my ass at work I work at Vegas Center's got a video that'll come by you guys can I used to have a sponsorship but you guys didn't take advantage of that just kidding. It's okay. Um, I do want to start painting again. I'm drawing. I do miss it. It's just I don't have the time or something. I don't know. I got two English classes in school. And they they grab my cheeks and they like smack them and it bounces and then they just like spread it open and then rip them or something. They like they kick, it's kicking my ass basically. Kicking my ass. 
have two English classes. I grew up not liking English classes. And I was like, here, let me just take two. Like a, gives me a freaking headache. And I got music class. <sighs> Excuse me. That's literally how I feel about music class. So freaking boring. And it's like full of freshmen. It's just like hello FCC. If you don't know what FCC is, fake, fake corny cringe. Me and Gabo and Yayo made that up on our way to do the podcast. FCC. Those kids are something else, man. I felt I feel so out of place. I think we're like probably like a year to three years from apart from each other, and it's like a big ass difference. Like these. They're so corny, like they're not cool. They're not, I don't know, man. It's just weird, you know? Maybe they're just lost like us, but we're just. They're like, stick with your own game <laughs> or something, you know? But it's. It's something. They've got some more rain invades. feel stuck or something. I don't know if it was just a bad day to do it. But we're here. I guess it's testing out my discipline, huh? My consistency. Oh, dude. I'm just hoping it just doesn't. It's not. It's not going to be the same. It's not, I'm not going to get that, that unmotivated and undisciplined shit from last time. I think I just gotta push through it, but this time is just so boo boo, you know. It's not so boo boo. It's good. I just it's a lot harder to get guests. I think maybe that's what it is. I don't know. If people think it's like yeah. I don't know. If people are like like scared or something or nervous. Honestly, I just want to talk, see if we have a connection, see like. Like you're into you. that's it you know a new buddy that's it I was wondering how do you post on Spotify I wonder if I can because I know some random people be posting that'd be kind of funny because on Apple Music unless they're trying to give me them more they give me them more content then we stick with them with the with the Spotify but yeah Got some new stuff, new furniture. I gotta clean it up. I picked it up. I don't need, if I, if I have a truck, I think I'll pick up the most random shit ever. Like it's so, like it wouldn't be good. Like the shit that I, like I was picking up the, the freak, okay, so like these people that are moving out or they're selling shit and they had stuff on the side and I asked them, like, yeah, whatever you take is yours. I got some new things, got some two chairs. To clean them up, go fix them up a little bit, maybe do a little, little redecorating or something they're funny they look old like for old people you can f for sure know for old people and i just know i was just like day i had the truck so i had to borrow a truck and then i put it put them on uh, in the trunk I put them in the trunk and i was just like let me see what else they got in here i might hear like taking shit out like dude this is like, what is this i was like damn this shit look brand new i'm like i'll take it and i was just like i don't even know what the hell this is and i don't know what the hell i'm gonna use it for but it's just because it's brand new, I could put it in the truck, and it like it looks brand new, it's taken care of, I could put it in the truck, and I could just take it. Like, that's that's so bad. Like, I'd be taking everything, I'd be feeling this, this is a bit of it. If I'd be seeing like wood and stuff, I would just be like taking it, build something with wood. I don't know how to use wood, but I really want to. Like, know how to like use a wood cutter, nail it up, do something with it. Because here you got a, he, she had a good idea, what I gotta do with the backdrop make my own wall so that's one thing I'm trying to do so I'm gonna just try to find some things take a truck take up after that except for hookers you know, hook speaking of hookers I sell a, pro a hooker or a prostitute I don't know the difference they're the same thing to me and the artist just see them but um, I saw a drop off one time 
that guy looks so happy. This old dude, old white dude, dropped off this one girl. You know, she walked away to the other side real quick to cover her face. She didn't cover very well, I seen it. And that guy would just drove off with a big old smile. You know, he's got the, the best guy, best lady he ever had in his life. stories for you guys, I'm sorry. And I got a lot more stuff to talk about. You know? I think I'm just going through a lot of like too much information in my head and I'm not taking stuff out. You know? So like it's just it's it's stuck and I don't know. I gotta do something to take just to unclog it. Too much information in not, not enough out. So I gotta do that for sure. Cause I don't want this to be a boo episode, but I apologize. Maybe you guys relate to it. You now you guys try to do things, you get intimidated, you get scared or something, or you just got nothing when it's time to do it. But yeah, it's real hard to get guests. Cause I don't know, it's, it's hard cause people wanna be in it, but they don't know how to be in it, you know, like, sometimes I'm just like, I don't know what to talk to them about, you know, it is weird, like, I don't know, like, there's certain conversations that I'd rather just have without the camera, and I want to have certain conversations with the camera, and a lot of people, I'd rather have those conversations off camera, because I feel like it's, more sacred I guess like the connection isn't as much it's not as strong to like go off of like oh hey you know like talk on camera and we can just talk about random stuff I feel like the connection isn't like that and like to build that I feel like we have to have conversations off camera and unless you know they're they're promoting something or they have something they want to talk about like the mother himself or like I'm very interested in like what they're doing and like I want to talk about that but it's hard one time this dude texts me out of nowhere he's like are you based in San Diego or Vegas and I'm like because he like he answered my poll like some random dude that has this stuff and he answered my poll and then like texted me and I was like oh I'm based and he's like I'll be out there soon and I was like okay like what the heck like what do you want me to do about that you know and then I was just like, you got like I texted him and I was like, oh, like like trying to see like a conversation because he was really bad communicating, and I was like, oh, like you got a show or something? Like I see clips on it, like you know what you do. Never responded to me, so I don't even know what the hell this dude. I don't know. Like he still posts on a story. Like I, I don't know if he thinks he's like super cool. Like like I'm gonna text you five words, and respond, and then don't don't text you ever again. Like it felt like, like when the girl thinks she's too too cute or something, you know, she's all that, and then like that's what that's how it felt like I treated. Her. I was like, what the hell? I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't even want to fuck you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you asked me first. Like, I, I don't know. what the hell? It is funny. But yeah, man. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna just. I got nothing like today. I got other things to do. I got stuff, projects I gotta do, you know? And when I get better news, I'll, I'll get it from some, some people that wanna be on here. It sucks that it's harder. Like, you know, I got my spot now, and it's just harder to get people. But when I was over there in a spot that I was not consistent with, or that was as reliable everyone's just like oh let me do that like that but then I know people are gonna be like oh put me on put me on oh, I'm like dude I don't wanna have to edit every, everything you say and bleep bleep and then fuck or you know like you're just gonna say dumb stuff like I don't know like I, I don't want this to be discouraging either cause people are like oh what if I say something dumb and all that like but like, I want to talk about stuff, like, what are you doing with your life? I don't want to talk about, like, 
you're going out and drinking and doing all this stupid stuff, you know? Like, if you're not, like, a homie, because I'd rather talk about stories with the homie, like, your life. But, like, it's very complicated. It really is. Especially when since I don't know anyone in like the art world really. And like, I don't know. People follow me but they don't do nothing. And I wanna go out there and introduce myself. But it's like weird. Like it's only weird to me because like people because I feel like people think either like they're too hot shot or they're like I am, but I don't know. Like people stare at me and then like, I'm gonna say hi. But I feel like I just, I feel like I go off rude because sometimes I'm just like minding my business or like I don't know who that is. And it's like, okay. But, damn, but yeah. Hope you got a good one. Y'all stay safe. Text checks, don't text checks, don't matter. Love yourself, love your family, love your dog. Love your cat, love your hamster. Oh, and make a good day. I be forgetting that. Y'all let me forget that for real. Make a good day. I gotta do that for real. But yeah, thank y'all. Hey, can you pause it for me, please?